Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is a video editorial for this problem. XOR queries of a subarray taken from lead code. So the problem is you are given an integer array and Q queries, each query of the type LR, and you have to tell what is the XOR from elements L to R. And basically you have to perform XOR operation uh, from L to R in the indices from the array and print the result so this is the example test case uh, 0 first second third these these are the elements and the first query is 0 1 that is you have to perform XOR operation between uh, from 0th element to the first element so XOR of 1 and 3 would be 2 and you, uh, the second query is 1 to 2 which means you have to perform XOR operation between elements from one index index one to index two the result is going to be three xor four so this is the corresponding output three xor four is seven zero to three which means from here to here come uh, xor of complete sub uh, array the result is 14 and the for three three that is only this element the result is going to be eight of course so there are q queries how we are going to solve this problem the expected complexity that is to to answer each query we should answer each query in constant time after some kind of pre-processing of course so the expected complexity to answer each query is constant now uh, what is the approach to solve this problem what we are going to do is create a prefix array now prefix of i would store xor of first i element so prefix of i would store a0 xor with a1 xor with a2 and so on till a i so prefix of 0 would store 0th element prefix of 1 would store xor of 0th element and first element prefix of 2 would store xor of 0th element x first and second element and so on now to answer each query after pre-processing this uh, prefix array each query can be answered in constant time using this expression if l is greater than 0 then result would be prefix of r xor with prefix of l minus 1 otherwise it is going to be prefix of r understanding the second one is quite easy since l is equals to 0 uh, you have to uh, print xor from 0 to r and prefix of r actually stores xor from 0 to r that is why you can directly print prefix of r to understand the second one let's go deeper so uh, prefix uh, understanding the first was easy let's just take a look why this second one works or this first one works so prefix of r xor with prefix of l minus 1 it means Prefix of R is actually <coughs> sorry. Prefix of R actually means a zero XOR with a one XOR with a two dash dash dash. Uh, somewhere between the line, you would get a l minus one, and then uh, prefix of R, R basically mean XOR of all elements from zero to R, right? And in between, you are going to get indices l minus one and l. Since L appears before R, so if you take XOR of all element from 0 to R, in between you are going to get indices L minus 1 and L. So this is A0 XOR with A1 XOR with A2 dash 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 AL minus 1 XOR with AL dash 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 AR. I'm not representing all of the indices, but this is how it would look like. This is a prefix of R. Now you have to perform XOR operation with prefix of L minus 1. So prefix of L minus 1 is basically uh, prefix of all uh, XOR of all elements from 0 to L minus 1. Now, if you see, uh, we have to perform XOR of all these elements. Now, there is A0 before, uh, there is A0 in this segment, there is A0 in this segment. So, if you perform XOR operation, these two would cancel out. As explained in the fourth lecture of bit manipulation course, uh, if A is XOR with A, the result is going to be 0. So A0 and A0 ends are same, so result is going to be 0 for them. A1, A1 would cancel out each other. A, A2, A2 would cancel out each other till AL minus 1. 
so all of the element would cancel out each other till l minus 1 so till a l minus 1 everything would cancel out the remaining elements would be a l xor a l plus 1 xor a l plus 2 dash 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 a r and this is exactly what we want we want xor from a l to a r so that is why if l is greater than 0 the result is prefix of r xor with prefix of l minus 1 otherwise the answer is prefix of r so if if we try to solve this problem this is the problem you you are given a uh, first array which is array of integer and second array of array which is basically query this is 2d array so let's take n to be i name it ar because i work with ar ar dot size and let's take a prefix array of size n now prefix of 0 is equals to ar of 0 uh, and then from i is equals to 1 i less than ar dot size or we have n so i less than n i plus plus prefix of i is equals to prefix of i minus 1 xor with ar of i oh i forgot to mention how to pre-calculate prefix array uh, since prefix of i minus 1 contains a uh, prefix uh, xor from 0 to i minus 1 right to cal uh, using this we can calculate prefix of i now prefix of i minus 1 suppose a uh, prefix of 4 Pre and using prefix of 4 we want to calculate prefix of i prefix of 4 contains xor of all element from 0 to 4 now you want to calculate xor of all element from 0 to 5 we are not going to do this in a separate loop we can directly use the values in prefix of 4 because prefix of 4 contains xor of all element from 0 to 4 all you have to do include the fifth element so prefix of i can be calculated from prefix of i minus 1 by taking simply xor with ith element so this is how we pre-calculate in big of n time in linear time you can pre-calculate pre it so now our prefix array is completed so uh, this query expects us to return a vector of integer which is the solution of all the queries so let's create a vector of int call it result for each query uh, just name it q Q dot size i plus plus and l is equals to l is equals to q of i of zero and r is equals to q of i of one that is we are taking uh we are talking about the ith query and each time the the ith array the zeroth element is l and the first element is r now if l is 0 result dot push back since l is 0 so the result is prefix of r else result dot push back result is prefix of r xor with prefix of l minus 1 this is the result and simply return the result so let's test this mm, l was not declared i have somewhere used the small l i guess okay okay yeah yeah Yeah, the example test case is passing so let's run or simply submit uh, submit the solution yep so we can get an AC so this was how you solve this problem and this was how we prepare uh, the uh, the prefix array just a second come on
yeah so to calculate prefix array in big of n time we are going to use simply prefix of i minus 1 because i minus 1 contains result of all element from 0 to i minus 1 since we need prefix from 0 to i all you gotta do is take prefix of i minus 1 and add extra element that is ar of i this is how we calculate prefix array after that answering query was constant time operation so hope this helped you something to gain in your knowledge base thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video thank you